The last large item to be worked on would be the actual fiberglass top that really makes the Land Cruiser the Land Cruiser, which is this uh, off-white, what we call Singus white top. We've taken our perimeter and just clamped it on to make sure it fits uh, quite nicely around the whole edge. And what we're going to be doing is drilling out uh, small rivet holes. These rivet holes are what connect this steel perimeter onto the fiberglass top. Now, the rivets, you rivet them, and uh, different years have more rivets. Uh, this, as you can see, they, they for some reason, they, they, they bulk them up right here, and then they space them out about every, say, four inches or so around the rest of the top. And then on the other side, they do the same thing. They just have a, I'm not really sure why they do that uh, in this section, maybe because it's a, a section of stress. Um, some years they even have a little bit more in these sections, but for the most part, they're all the same. They're all riveted from the factory, and uh, we'll put the new rivets in and drill the holes and then put the rivets in. We'll show that process. We're also doing a little bit of fiberglass work where that is needed. You can see that there, as well as in the center. And uh, at the front here, we're going to have the flange that will go across, and we're taking these holes and just refiberglassing refibri them to give them uh, the flange that goes on. Uh, a good sturdy uh, support system right there. That flange is also riveted on. I'll show you that in a bit as well. But uh, the perimeter goes on and then what we do is we prime and paint and do all the things. But one of the last things to go on here would be a caulking, uh, like a seam sealer for lack of a better term. And this caulking will go in there and allow this to make it so that water does not work its way in between the two, the steel and the aluminum, uh, steel, excuse me, and the fiberglass section and leak. That's a lot of times a famous spot for a Land Cruiser to leak. So, uh, it's all clamped on with all the various and sundry clamps here and you can see that we're going to be heading into some a uh, little bit of sanding and then ultimately some priming.